Hello everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Trifo channel and today's recipe I'm going to show you how I prepare the classic chicken stew so if you are interested please stay tuned and let's get started for this stew I am going to use one whole soft chicken but feel free to use the hard one if that's what you like I've got one scotch bonnet pepper, five garlic cloves, one medium sized onion and one large thumb sized ginger now i'm going to put my onion ginger pepper and garlic in my hand blender and i'm going to season it with some salt chicken seasoning thyme two chicken cubes some hot curry powder all-purpose seasoning and i also have some garlic granules which is optional so that's why i didn't show it here so i'm going to add two tablespoons of chicken seasoning then i'm going to add half a tablespoon of garlic granules which is optional then half a tablespoon of hot curry powder, one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning, my two chicken cubes, a teaspoon of dry thyme, and last but not least, half a tablespoon of salt. And then I'm going to add one cup of water to mix it. So now I'm going to mix everything with my hand blender. Please use the stand blender. Next, I'm going to pour the mixture on my chicken and then I'm going to give it a nice little stir cover it and let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes on medium heat all right so this is my chicken now guys it's been working for about 15 minutes I'm just going to give it a little stir and leave it to cook for the remaining 10 minutes all right guys so i have got my oil here and i'm going to fry my chicken okay for about seven to ten minutes and then i'm going to take the chicken out of the oil um, when i say seven to ten minutes it really depends on how dark you want your chicken i like it in between okay and then i'm going to add two large minced onion in the same oil i used to fry my chicken in then i'm going to give it a little stir and let it fry for about three minutes on medium heat next i'm going to add my tomato puree and i've got here about 340 grams of puree i am now adding my tomato puree or tomato paste however you call it and next I am going to give it a little stir and let it to cook for about four minutes in the meantime I have got my chicken stock here and I've got two scotch bonnet peppers four garlic cloves one medium sized onion and one thumb sized ginger and I will be blending these two together and the flavors are just going to be amazing so this is one tip you should try I'm now going to add it to my stew, I'm going to give it a little stir and then I'm going to cover it and leave it to simmer for about 10 minutes on a medium to low heat. I also have my plum tomatoes here and I've got three plum tomatoes that I'm going to blend and add it straight away to my stew. Now I'm going to stir it, cover it and leave it to cook for about 20 minutes on medium heat. In the meantime, I'm going to clean my leeks. You can use spring onion if you like, but trust me, use leeks. So I'm going to cut some of the green parts and then cut it open because as you can see, this uh, leek has got some serious problems it's a bit rotten inside so I'm just going to remove the dead parts okay until it looks clean and this is it so now I'm going to cut through it about four times because leaks it need to be washed very well because there is dirt inside okay so now I'm going to wash it under cold water make sure I wash it very very well and then i am going to cut my leeks the size that i like okay i have also prepared the seasoning for my stew so salt up the seasoning some red curry chicken seasoning and one chicken cube wow my stew is looking amazing 
Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of all-purpose savory seasoning, one tablespoon of red curry, one tablespoon of chicken seasoning, my chicken cube, and a little bit of salt to taste. And now I'm going to stir it and it is time to add in my fried chicken guys. Look at this wonderful chicken. <laughs> All right, so now stir it gently and nicely and cover it and leave it to cook for another seven minutes on the lowest heat possible guys. All right, look at this, guys. My stew is ready, though. But now I'm going to add my leeks to it. And again, if you don't like leeks or you can't find it, just use spring onions. Stir it, leave it to cook for another five minutes, and that's it. The amazing chicken stew is ready. And trust me, you are going to love it. It's going to be your favorite. Just try it out. Well, this was my recipe and it is the end. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave me comments, thumbs up and share my videos and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.